Hi there, good day. I hope you're doing really, really well. I want to talk about a pretty important topic that um, I think, like deep down, or something in us knows that there's a thing, or that there's a, a barrier here around allowing ourselves to fully have what we need, what we want, and um, just having the ability to um, enjoy and allow goodness. And so today, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm Tracy Brown. I'm your somatic nutrition dietitian and a tuned eating expert. And we're going to talk about a barrier that I call the nourishment barrier. And it has everything to do, probably, for most of you, around defense, meaning it's not that we want to not feel joy with our eating, um, to fully feel satisfied, to have what we want. There's just a barrier to allowing that. And there's going to be all kinds of reasons. But first, I want to talk a little bit about um, remembering that our relationship, we have relationships with everything, relationship with our body, relationships with our food, um, sleep, play, you know, all these physiologic things that um, recovery depends on, basically. And so that's why it's really important to not be as intellectual about like, okay, I know what I need to do and I just do it. And when that's difficult, we tend to blame ourselves versus get more curious and get more compassionate around, I wonder what's holding me back. And I wonder, you know, what tape is running or what is running underneath the surface of what's happening on the surface with my food. And so that's what we want to talk about today. All right. So let's talk about satisfaction. That's an action. Like literally, um, getting satisfied is something that is important and what that looks like and what maybe your goal is is to be able to to enjoy the sensations of eating and the experience of it so where you are what you ate who you're with and be able to integrate that meaning like that happened and that was good or that happened and that was good enough or that happened and it wasn't as great, but I can still appreciate certain aspects of it, you know, and be able to name all that and to, to know that's happening and to be able to separate the, all that eating experience out from other things that might be running or happening in your life. So that would be our hopeful normative experience. And that kind of relates to our ability to like grab essentially like, here's the food I want, grab it and take it in essentially. Um, oftentimes when we don't know how to do this completely or there's some, um, there's something that's prevented that it'll show up in these belief systems around like being, well, you have needs and your needs are more important. So I'll give to you, but I don't, I don't need that, you know, or, you know, deep down, maybe I kind of know I have needs, but you know, I don't want ever people. I don't want people to know my vulnerabilities. I don't want people don't really know me. You know, I might be out there doing all these great things for other people, but other people don't. And I know everybody else's like vulnerabilities or their secrets or just personal stuff about them, but nobody really knows me fully. Um, that's what that underneath is is running. That's disrupting your ability to be satisfied. And all of that, you put clump all those things together. Um, well, all this clumped together is a nourishment barrier. So what that looks like with our eating behavior is restricting because we just can't let ourselves take in what we truly want or need. Um, we might say that we want certain things, but we don't let ourselves have it or let ourselves have a certain experiences um, or binging and purging. I see that a lot with people that's like, I want to take it in, but I, I can't keep it. Um, I don't, and there might be things running like I don't deserve it or um, I'm not miserable enough yet, or I didn't get raging hungry, so I don't deserve to eat yet, or I, I can put it off, I'm tough, I can put it off, or you know, I'm not miserable enough yet, so I can, I can put it off. Um, and I talked about this a little bit um, last week, or I think two weeks ago, around the ability to be satisfied as it has a lot to do, or not being satisfied is also gonna show up looking like difficulty with being vulnerable again, and being introspective. So we'll say some things or do some things, but we don't really understand the underlying motive or the function of it, of doing the things we're doing with food or whatever. Um, Sometimes there's some self, I don't love the word self-sabotage, but some people use that word of like things are going good and then it kind of blows up. 
um, difficulty with compliments or even people being um, just thinking that you did a good job and say something or um, like being in your presence and they tell you that and that feeling uncomfortable that will all and you know it goes with the food like that those things that show up in other parts of your life are going to look like I can't let myself just be like nourished and okay and not have a thing running and underneath like well I wonder what that's about and a lot of times it's either we're struggling with our own regulation and we don't know that we're dysregulated or we're not really giving ourselves the time and space to get regulated for things to go well for some reason again it could be lack of worthiness um, just being used to the chaos whatever Again, all that's going to show up, all the stew of stuff is why it's hard to get satisfied, why you have guilt around, um, and there's deeper stuff underneath that around like, you know, fearing being vulnerable because you might get hurt or fearing if I eat the food I need, I'll gain weight and then people will judge me and I'll die or whatever it is that feels like that it, it, I know it's real, but it may not be real for right now, but regardless, there's a struggle with like letting yourself be satisfied. And so if you're relating to any of this, it's really important that we start working with um, this ability to be present with what we need and noticing that push and pull and getting clear about like um, having this ability to notice, just notice that push and pull of like, I want, but I can't have. And like, how old is that? What needs to happen to shift that? Um, basically how that's impacting your food and what needs to happen. And for you, that may mean that like, I need to stick with what I know works, even though a strong part of me wants to like not follow through with that. And, you know, just getting a lot of support. Really, it's the bottom line of like having, you know, practicing getting satisfied and safe company and, um, you know, it also is going to show up a little bit in like when, like we want help, I mean, we ask for help, but we don't fully take it in where you start getting either getting rejected. So, you know, there's all kinds of things, but just notice where you're doing that. And, and, the, and the, the key to like kind of healing that is first awareness that that's what's running and two, getting, going back to the clarity and getting really clear about what you want. That's always a little bit of a first step, getting clear about what you want and working your way toward this and how can I allow myself to be satisfied getting what I want. All right. So I hope this was helpful. I think this is a huge thing. I, mean, I see it all over different parts of life for, for people and different venues I hang out in. And I'm like, there's a reason why it's so hard to not feel guilty to give ourselves what we want or to even feel it's okay to get satisfied and, and move on. I mean, there's a reason for that and we have to get really curious that's the first step of what's going on there and know and then knowing even if you know intellectually that it's normal and healthy and safe and right to get your needs met and to be satisfied with the food you eat just inherently know that's normal that's normal it just may not be what you're used to and that's okay we can all learn so thank you all so much for watching. If this resonates, please let me know. If you feel like somebody would benefit from this video that's struggling with the same kind of nourishment barrier, um, let them know first that that's real and it's a real thing and that it's important that um, we don't go back to our old patterns of like, well, I'll never get satisfied, so what's the point of trying? Let's just go back to a diet because, you know, that's what I'm used to. I mean, you could do that, but I also know that people probably watching this are really hungry for something more and to have a more embodied, complete, whole being in life. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye.